Welcome to Movies and Munchies. I'm Biliana Reyes. And I'm Lauren Craig. And today's movie is Eurovision Song Contest, Story of Fire Saga. It is about two small town singers who chase their pop star dreams at a global music competition where scheming rivals, high states, and onstage mishaps test their bond. And today's munchies are Snyder's Pretzel Pieces, the hot buffalo wing flavor. I'm hoping that these pretzels live up to my spicy expectations. <laughs> okay, so I'm smelling them and they smell pretty buffalo-y. Like, whoo, they're pretty strong. And they're in these cute little pieces. Okay. They're very crunchy. I like the texture of them. I was thinking it would be a little bit more like buffalo wing flavor. But I don't really taste that. I mostly taste the pretzel. How about you? I actually do taste the like buffalo flavor. It just isn't very spicy. Like, do you think it's spicy? No, I don't really think this is spicy. When you put the pretzel in your mouth, like you taste a hint of it. And then like right after that split second, you just taste the pretzel. Yeah, I would agree with that. I don't know. I'm not feeling this one. I actually kind of like the texture of them. I do wish the flavor was like a little stronger, but maybe it like couldn't penetrate this like thick pretzel. But I like how they're in like little pieces and that they're thick. I do like that it, they do have like little pieces for like sharing and everything. But I don't know. I'm not digging it. I'm sorry, Lauren. What would you rate these? I would rate this a one. I was expecting it to be like very buffalo wingy taste, like how you like spicy. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be really spicy. But it's not, it's not like towards the buffalo wing taste. Ah, so yeah, a one for me, sorry. For some reason I like these and I can't really put my finger, like the flavor, like we said, isn't super strong, but it's something about the texture that I really like. I'm not like, in love with them so I guess I would rate these about a three so like a medium you're like I like them but I'm not like overly liking them I feel like at a party these would be like a fun addition to have out on a snack table but like as a solo snack I don't know that I would just sit here and munch on these like I would a bag of chips it's good for a party but it's not good for like myself like to have a bunch of it I feel like these would be really good um, if I had something to dip them in I feel like that would be fire so, what did you think about Eurovision Song Contest? I thought this movie was super cute, very quirky. Like, I laughed a lot during it. I liked the writing. Uh, I liked the storyline. So overall, I thought it was a super cute movie. I enjoyed watching Will Ferrell and Rachel McAdams opposite each other in this film. I agree with you. Like, I really like Will Ferrell when he does, like, all the crazy movies he does, like, with Elf and with Step Brothers. So, like... When I watched this, I was like, oh, this is going to be really, really good. But then I didn't expect for Rachel McAdams to also be as funny as him. So I was like, oh, I really, really like this. Yeah, I thought she was hilarious. So the first question I have for you is, have you ever entered a talent contest? I have entered a talent contest. It wasn't a big one. It was in my high school. And we had, like, this senior show. And me and my friends... Uh, we were all in color guard together, which sounds nerdy, sounds nerdy. However, our band was like the best in the nation. Like I actually am a national champion and I have a national championship ring. Oh my God, I'm talking to a celebrity. I'm just going to say not a huge nerd for without a cause. I have a cause. I'm a national champion. <laughs> Fun fact, Lauren is a superstar in band or in color guard. <laughs> Anyways, me and some of the girls from the Color Guard Squad entered the senior show competition and we were doing like a choreographed dance that we made up to, uh, it was a Lady Gaga song. And um, we auditioned for the senior show, but the principal like had it out for me and one of the other girls. Like she did not like us. After our audition, she like told one of the girls, she was wearing a nose ring and she was like, you need to take that out. And the girl like had attitude back with her. And I was like, great, we're not gonna get in. And sure enough, we didn't get in. And I have to believe it was because that vice principal didn't like us. <laughs> 
Shady, man. Shady. <laughs> so shady. What about you? So yes, I have done um, talent competitions. I actually started when I was a baby. And I won like diapers for being um, the Statue of Liberty. So that was really cool. And then it ended up like, um, I guess progressing from there. In middle school, I entered this um, talent show where me and my cousins did like a bye 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 song. Like when it was like hopping. I do know like we went to a lot of competitions. And then now as an adult, like I sign up for like every amazing race or like every contest show that I'm like physically active. So yeah, I've just been around it. So my first question for you is, have you ever worked with someone that was like controlling how Lars was? Not, no, not as much as Lars was, but I have worked with someone who is like a control freak with like managing and cleaning, which is good because like the store was always kept up to date and then it also kind of like gravitated towards me so like when I would go into like the um the restaurant um I would start like cleaning and making sure like everything was like up to her standard so yeah I have worked with someone at like maybe like a little less than Lars but not like Lars is where he's like no you can't do that or no you, like she actually gave me like some like lead room like hey like this is a better way to do it no one as demanding as Lars how about you have you worked with a control freak um I have worked with a control freak before she would kind of like just dismiss my ideas like, there was no <laughs> discussion about it it was just like I acknowledge your idea, but this is what we're doing. For a while, like, I'm, I feel like I'm kind of like a people pleaser. At the beginning, I would just, like, give her ideas and be like, oh, okay, yeah, let's do your idea. But then after working together for a while, I started to put my foot down. And I think with that kind of person, you really just have to put your foot down and in a polite way it can still be done. But working with her, I actually learned a lot and became more of an assertive person. So at the end of the day, I'm grateful with the, for the experience. Are you still like friends with them? We weren't really friends before we worked together. So it wasn't like a weird, we were best friends before and then we worked together and now we're not. It was kind of just like, we were just coworkers. So Eurovision has like so many amazing songs in their movie. What was your favorite song? I love Sigret's final song, the one that she wrote herself, that um, Lars had been pushing her away from doing the whole movie, and then finally at the end she gets to sing her song. I thought that song was so beautiful. I love that part of the song was in Icelandic. She put her whole heart and soul into writing it and performing it. So that was my favorite. I love that song also, like I love how they incorporated their culture in it, but my favorite one has to be Double Trouble, like after I watch this movie, I like put it on repeat. Yeah, my husband like walks in from work and he's like, babe, what are you listening to? And I was like, Double Trouble from Eurovision! That's why I thought it was so funny, like throughout the whole movie, literally everyone was like, oh they're terrible, they're terrible, the whole movie, and I was like, I don't think they're that bad, I mean they're a little weird as people, and like, their performances, things are going wrong, but they're not like bad performers. <laughs> like their their songs are catchy. Yeah, they're like a little quirky. <laughs> so in the movie, they had the first competition with only Icelandic people to see who would be chosen to go to Eurovision. At the end of the competition, all the other contestants were on a boat and they get it, they get blown up. Um, and that's how these two quirky people got to go to Eurovision. So my question for you is, did you see the twist of the bombing of the boat being planned at that moment in the movie or did you find out and were you surprised later? I did not see it coming, which was so weird because like how they played it was very like sentimental but funny. They were like, everyone's on that boat and like they're all dead but we're the only ones alive, so we get to go. Like, oh, no. Like, they kept like, yeah, no. But I didn't see it until the end. I was like, oh, that's why they bombed the boat. How about you? I didn't see it coming either. I thought, you know, they did kind of hint towards the guy not wanting Iceland to be picked because it would bankrupt the country. But I didn't, I didn't catch that. I didn't immediately think he was going to do something. 
And then when the bombing happened, I, you know, this movie was so weird and quirky that I was just kind of like, it's just a weird, it's just a weird movie. So they just are like, oh, they're all dead. Like, here we go. So I was like, oh, that's just part of the plot because this movie's so weird. But I did catch on whenever uh, he was like talking to the other people. They were like, oh, they're actually doing good. And he said, oh, no. And that's when I was like, I think he bombed the boat. <laughs> so in the movie, um, Will Farrow is playing an um, Icelander. Um, what are your thoughts about them not casting actual Icelanders since they are like a part of the Eurovision um, contest? I think that they just wanted a big audience and to use you know, Farrell and McAdams, that's going to draw a huge audience. So I don't blame them for not using Icelandic actors, especially for a movie that's like a comedy. You kind of needed those big names to get a movie like this to be popular in the United States. So I understand why they did it. I'm not upset by it, but I don't know how the Icelandic people feel about that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like on a 50-50 with it. Like, I understand why they did it. And yeah, there are some Icelanders that were in the movie that are actually, that actually competed. But still, I think if they had, I guess, like someone who's like more of a supporting character that was Icelander, like I would be a little bit more happy. Because it's like, it's their story. But of course, like bigger names bring bigger audience, bring bigger money. <laughs> Okay, so after the first round of Eurovision, whenever everything went wrong uh, during their performance, the wheel fell off, it was choking her, and they fell down, and then they like came back up and finished, and nobody clapped for them. It was so awkward. And then they were supposed to go back to see the results, and Lars didn't want to go back. He was too embarrassed. He said, there's no way I'm going out there. We look like fools. But Sigret went back out and she said, I'm an artist, I'm holding my head high, and I'm going to sit out there anyways. Which one would you have done? Would you have left an embarrassment or would you have gone out and saw the results? I would be with Secret. Like, I would, I mean, you're an artist, you perform, like, you put your heart and soul, whether it goes bad or whether it goes good. Like, you have to show up and, like, take the consequences for you, like, not performing well or for your props not going the way it is I mean at the end of the day it's like your name on the line so at least respect the process and show your face whether you like it or not so I'm on her side I think it's just very for me personally like disrespectful to like walk out especially on your partner who like gave their the same amount of time and energy towards the performance so yeah I would say definitely doing what's right and showing your face. What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, I totally agree with that. And I think for it to be such a huge competition, it was such an honor that they were there and picked. Um, I would have definitely been out there like, yeah, things went wrong. But at the end of the day, like they finished their performance. I thought that was crazy and awesome that they got back up after being like trampled by this wheel. They got back up and finished, and I think that's amazing. So, after reviewing all the questions, what would you rate this movie? I thought it was, like, fun to watch. I thought Farrell and McAdams had a really natural and good back and forth. It was entertaining, but I wasn't in love with it, so that's why I gave it three stars. For me, I would rate it... I'm with you, a three. Like, I like the story. I love the songs in it. I love all the craziness. But it's not, like, towards where I like more action movies. So it's, like, in that middle, just coasting of, like, I like it, but I'm not in love with it. So three, 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 three. Thanks so much for watching Movies and Munchies. If you haven't watched Eurovision, the song contest, the story of Fire Saga, make sure to go watch it. Yes, and make sure you go to the store and try out Snyder's pretzel pieces, the hot buffalo wing uh, flavor. And if you have any suggestions on what we should do in the future, just leave a comment below. Bye!